hello and welcome to the SolidWorks tutorial today we are going to practice the revolve boss base and revolve cut in the SolidWorks let's start go to new part ok and let's change the background to plain height I'll choose a front plane and normal let's create a sketch first of all center line and create a center line passing through origin no need to dimension this center line now choose circle and draw a circle here anywhere click ok let's define this diameter is 30 mm distance from center line to center of the circle is 50 our sketch is still in under defined and let's press the control key and select this let's control key and we'll apply a relation here you see make horizontal that means these two points are in a single line now our sketch is fully defined click ok now go to feature and choose revolve boss base command now this is the axis of rotation and this is our sketch simply click ok this is our revolve boss base result now we delete it again let's try the revolve boss base and revolve part select front plane sketch this time take center rectangle click ok dimension it let's say 150 and this one also 150 ok go to feature and extrude it choose mid plane and let's say 150 click ok go to this plane and normal now draw a center line exit the sketch and choose a circle again let's dimension it this let's say 40 and distance from this point to this point is 150 simply click ok go to the feature and use the revolve boss base again now try the different options here try up to vertex that means we have to choose a vertex up to here the revolve boss base works let's choose a up to a surface let's choose this surface that means the revolve action will take place up to this surface now again take another offset from surface offset means some distance clearance between the this face and this object we can see the 10 mm offset let's increase 20 mm 
click OK. These are the different options available in the Revolve Boss Base. Go to edit the feature. Now we will try direction 2. You can see. Let's try blind and 180 degree. In this way. Let's try 90 degree. Okay. In the same way as in the first direction, we can change the different options in the direction to also that is up to what is up to surface, offset from surface, etc. Okay. Now we are going to practice the revolve cut same as in the revolve boss base command are almost same delete it if you select and edit the sketch you can edit the dimension let's change it 50 mm click ok go to feature and choose the revolve cut this time that means it will cut instead of uh, creating the body now let's try this is blind cut in 360 degree in the 360 degree angle just click ok now you can see the revolve cut in this body you can try the different options available in the you can choose the two directions you can choose up to vertex that means choose any vertex let's choose this one it will automatically cut up to this vertex or you can choose the surface it will cut only up to the surface click ok you can try the different options you can go to revolve cut apply the direction let's send blind and only 180 degree in the direction 2 let's choose up up to vertex and choose the vertex as this or you can choose the other vertex also you can see the preview in this way you can use the exclude cut option in the solidox you can also apply the thin feature in the revolve boss base let's draw a center line I'm not going to define it you can define it as in the previous way let's draw a circle okay go to feature and revolve it the axis of revolution is this center line now you can apply the thin feature we're going to practice thin feature mid plane you can use in the two directions you can visualize better suppose one direction that means one direction from this sketch mid plane means the 10 mm is divided into the 5 mm and 5 mm part and in the two direction means you have to provide the dimension in the both directions let's say 5 mm and in the direction let's say 5 mm in this way you can change the dimension click ok you can see from the section view just click ok and 
this is the thin feature applied in the revolve wash base and revolve cut in this way you can use this very good feature in the solidworks thank you for watching this much for today you can apply the material to this object to exit from the section view just click it click ok you can save this object in your desired folder thank you for your time this much for today and in the next chapter we'll try in the next tutorial we'll try the different options available in the command manager till then bye bye